Monday, the uh, start of the week, start of another uh, month, not month, yes, actually start of another month, and also another uh, state. Seems fitting that we're doing March now, that we'll be doing another M state, and right after Maine is the wonderful state of Maryland. Before I uh, start this, sorry, I got distracted. There's some text messages going on. Um, probably a little change of format after this week. I'm doing this warning now that it'll start next week. That I'm probably going to start recording these things all at once during the week instead of doing it like the day before like I have been. Um, I do switch around from that back and forth every now and then. Uh, for a while, I've been doing it this way, where, you know, the night before, I would record and put it up. But I think I'm going to start doing these at least for a couple of weeks to see how it goes, to open up weekdays to do some other things, and we'll see how it goes. I'll let you know. I'm going to take a sip. And let's begin our tour around Maryland. Now, I'm very much probably going to do a god-awful score on here, because... Maryland's a very tiny state. It's the ninth smallest, which, uh, comparatively speaking, apparently is about the size of Belgium in square mileage or square whatever. It's the, uh, let's see here. I'm going to go through the stats as we do normally. It's the 17th state admitted to the Union on uh, April 28th, 1788. It's the uh, state that kind of gave up a chunk of itself for the nation's capital, which is Washington, D.C. Like the District of Columbia, it's its own thing. That's what Washington, D.C., the D.C. stands for, if you were not aware, is District of Columbia. Um, capital of Maryland is Annapolis, which you very much have to zoom in to find. Um, it's a very, it's a weird, state in that a lot of it is it's a very old state one of the first colonized areas within the u.s i mean i'm kind of a little surprised it took this long for it to actually become a state um chesapeake bay is a big thing uh you got baltimore the biggest city in the state home of ooh, let's see what this says there is a oh that's a bike route sign probably yes it is um i'm just looking to see if i can't okay still bike route maybe kind of geolocate this a little bit better in the state because this thing kind of goes the gambit as far as um, topography goes, where you've got basically a lot of low-level swampland when you look at elevation. The highest place is Hoy Crest, H-O-Y-E. I don't know if that's actually how it's pronounced, which is uh, 3,360 feet. In height, which is 1,024 meters, and the lowest one is the Atlantic Ocean. Um, mountaintop Seventh day Adventist church and school. I think this is going to be a little bit more towards the west side of the state, the kind of like Appalachia, not really thought about. Look how like weird and thin this state gets. Um, I'm going to kind of be going all over the place as far as like facts because uh, these things are just popping into my head now as we speak. It's the ninth smallest state. The next, uh, the small, the, I think a state smaller than it's actually Hawaii. I might be getting this incorrect. Apologies if I am. The next smallest state after Maryland is uh, West Virginia, which is insanely way bigger. Kind of a bit of a jump and change in discrepancy as far as. Um, Small size. It'll 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 happen sometimes with different states. I'm really hoping to actually see a uh, root sign. I am not. Like I said, I'm probably gonna do very bad. I'm gonna go ahead and click. Maybe we're on like Route Nine over here, near Big Pool. But yeah, I'm gonna do bad. Just because I don't think I've actually. Well, I have been through Maryland. This is back when, in uh, seventh and eighth grade. It's cool. Uh, at least places on the Mount Nebo office. Oh, we do actually have a town name up here, it looks like. This may help me. Nope. <laughs> it's just a dump. Um, 
Well, we would do Ferndale. I think that's the actual name of the place we are. I am probably not going to find it. So I'm going to leave it where it is. Um, Mount Nebo, WMA. Maybe we're actually over here. So I'm going to click right there. In the two seconds, and I probably maybe got closer. But yeah, not that far. I'm glad. Oh, we were right near the border. Glad I moved us a little bit closer. But 7th and 8th grade. Uh, at least up here in the northeast where I went to school, uh, you went to a class trip down to Washington, D.C., the state, Washington, D.C., to see the state capitol. Now, I can't really speak for the, anything that's not, like, here and over. I don't know if people, like, in Kansas City and their schools would actually take a school trip to D.C. We took a school bus, not a school bus, a charter bus down to D.C. for a little bit. I forget how many days we were there, but um, we went to the Smithsonian, uh, some other really cool places. Also, I mean, this was a while ago. My memory is kind of shite. Uh, if it's not obvious with me not being able to remember a lot of stuff. I don't know. Maybe I should feel like mentioning this stuff. Excuse me. We're seeing it a lot here, but there's... Um, these on a lot of trees at least here in the northeast i don't know and it's very prevalent as you can see a lot of these trees have it um they're everywhere at least up here in the northeast and i believe i'm probably gonna get this wrong look how much it's here i think they're from gypsy moths i believe they're nests they might be an invasive species but i'm uh misremembering which is extremely common with me so take that as you will i we do have an actual let's see there's the maryland root sign this seems a little, I can't tell actually where we are. So I'm going to see if I can't maybe look for that. What was it? 1797. See if I can't find it. Um, let's get ourselves a little organized here. Uh, anything else? Oh, there's 97. Look, we found it. All right. So 97 is a massive chunk of road. I'm going to click like right there and maybe Nicodemus and Washington Road. Um, Anything else to mention real quick? Uh, sports teams. There are two professional sports teams based out of uh, Maryland. You've got the uh, Baltimore Orioles, very uh, vaunted, at least well-known baseball team. Uh, they've been around for a while. And the Baltimore Ravens. Now, if you want a very interesting, like you care about sports and you want to know uh, some interesting history, uh, Baltimore Colts, you know, Indianapolis Colts. We, 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 I think we talked about it when we were in Indianapolis. Um, sports teams do, uh, sometimes do things where like, if they feel like you're getting a bit of a raw deal with the city they're in, they like to move. They'll complain about moving. If like, Hey, we, we have a shitty stadium and if you guys won't pay for it, we're just going to leave. And one of the most notorious ones was when the, uh, Baltimore uh, Colts, I believe. Yes, I believe it was Baltimore Colts would, uh, in the middle of the night, basically uprooted and left. Like, there's a big um, image that you can look for where it's a uh, picture of Mayflower Moving Company, that Mayflower's moving in the night. It's, it's, it kind of like dinged the uh, profitability, or at least I think Mayflower Moving actually took a bit of a hit. It's an interesting thing, and I'm probably butchering it because I haven't really paid attention to it in a while. Farmer's Market. Maryland with pride. Uh, are we getting near a uh, route intersection here? I think we might be. Oh, I was promised not bad uh, imagery here. Sykesville. Sykesville. I think we were maybe, like, down here. I'm going to click. Let's look at the... Uh, Westminster. Do I see that anywhere here? No, oh, we were a little farther down. I'm going to take a sip before we go to the next one. Um, ah, excuse me. Maryland also, uh, besides sports, uh, media, a very, very good show that I'm sure a lot of people, it's kind of a trope now of people being like, you haven't seen The Wire? Oh my God, it's amazing. Uh, if you don't know what it is, it was a show on HBO, very well 
done show. It's 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 fantastic. I think it's like four or five seasons, and it's all based out of Baltimore. Uh, very recommended. If you have not seen it, Cabin John Creek. That does not help me. This seems to be closer to. I'm gonna feel we're probably like around here, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna stay on this road actually. I feel like it might democracy boulevard like when they start using some uh well we got rock creek isn't there a rock creek there's rock bill hmm turf land eh, that doesn't help me okay we're just gonna stay on this road maybe we'll see a uh root marker somewhere here Ooh, that is a nice looking ferrari Sorry, I just wanted to look at that because it looks real nice. Hmm. Oh, we actually do have a road here, and I think it's going to say... No, it doesn't. Um, let's see. Any other things to quickly blurb about? It's the 19th most populous state in the Union with 6 million people. Medium household income is 80,000... Yeah, 80 grand a year which is second highest income rate. And a lot of it has to do with uh, its location next to uh, D.C. With a lot of people who work in D.C. end up getting their houses around um, the capital. So you get a lot of federal, lifelong federal uh, employees that, uh, the Heights.edu, that make their residence here in uh, Maryland. Uh, Maryland itself was named after the king of uh, the wife of King Charles I, Henrietta Maria. Uh, interesting, when it was first uh, founded, it was a, I think it was attempted to be like a, a religious kind of like, I don't want to say utopia, because that's a little bit too grandiose. We're not getting anything going this way, so I'm going to turn around, maybe go this way. See if this says where we are. No, it doesn't. Snow burns you. I'm going to go ahead and say we're maybe on 97. I just feel we're around here. And maybe I'll see a root sign at some point. I doubt it. But one of the main goals they were trying to do for this place was make it kind of just like uh, everyone could. Uh, preach or do their whole religion thing without any persecution or any criticism for any of their fellow men, but it didn't work out all that well. Um, it's motto. It's got a lot of nicknames. The old state line, free state, little America. Oh God, I'm, I'm choking on my own words here. Uh, America in miniature. Uh, let's see. His motto is Batty Masky Parole Femme. I can't speak Latin, so you're just going to have to, excuse me, as I translate it, to say strong deeds, gentle words. Uh, very grandiose. Yes, yes. Quite uh, prim and proper. I do also have to say that Maryland is home of one of the coolest flags. It's a fucking weird one if you have not seen it. So go ahead and uh, look that up yourself. Compared to every other state that I've mentioned before, it's a uh, bit of a doozy. So Route 40, which is 15 Mile Creek Road. Where is Route 40? Um, not seeing it. It is the shield, not the circle. Let's look for it. C50. Over here. I do. Ossateague National Shore, I believe, is also location of a bunch of wild horses. They're more well known, I think, down in uh, uh, North Carolina. I believe it's off of North Carolina. Is there's just a bunch of wild horses hanging out there? It's it's pretty wild. Uh, I don't really. Oh, we do have forty alternative. That is almost what I'm looking for. Fifteen Mile Creek Road. So I think, is it like part of another highway? 
maybe not, but we're we're going to hang out right here and maybe see if I can't uh get a better orientation of where we are. MV Smith Road does not help me. Let's see what this sign says. MV Smith Road does not help. I don't know what the fuck MV Smith is. Green Ridge Mountain elevation 1040 feet. Nothing's helpful here. Come on. Give me something. This is probably just saying MV whatever. Green Ridge State Forest Scenic Overroot. Overlook. So let's take a look. Green Ridge. Maybe try to find it. I'm going to put us here. Until I find... I mean, I don't think this is the alternate route for Route 40. Where does it go? Okay. 40 goes this way. Okay, so it does take a bit of a bit of a bend this way. Does it end? No, it keeps going. So it looks like it takes part of Highway 68 here. So, hmm. This may be, I don't want to say a bait and switch, but I may end up getting uh, a little bamboozled here as far as finding it. I'm going to hit home. And head the other way and maybe get lucky as to where we are. I might be leaning a bit more to the uh, um, west in Maryland than I am the east, but Route 40 here is apparently a very long road. That's exit 62. I'm gonna go over here because that is a uh, I got a minute left. This is good. Although you've got a very shit quality image. Uh, 144. This is helpful. Now we're going to go all the way here and look for 144 in the 50 seconds we have. Just quickly scanning. There's 144. All right. So we were. Uh, where were we? Got to look for. Um, that green, whatever, green ridge. Okay, we were like right there. Maybe like actually right here. I do like that that company is called Scissors, etc. I'm not going to get there in 19 seconds. Green Mile Creek Road. Looking for it. Don't see it. I think I'm pretty comfortable with this. I'm going to take a sip. Okay. Oh, we are a little farther south. Wow, that's a huge ding in my score. Oh well. Final one for all the marbles. Um other times I've been to Maryland. Um No, I mean we did drive through Camden. Uh, I mean Baltimore to get to D.C. when I was a kid. I remember seeing Camden Yards, which is where Baltimore Orioles play. Uh, I think that was cool, but actually, no, never. don't think I've ever actually been to any other time to Maryland. I don't know if I care so much. Um, I don't have an opinion either way on Maryland. It's okay. I mean, it's just, uh, just another one of those mid-Atlantic eastern seaboard states. I did think it was funny that the... Um, that's not, it's waterfront. Makes me maybe think we're closer to here. That Maryland, it's a massive school. When I was comparing it to, when I was in college, going to my university, and be like that, University of Maryland has 70,000 people, at least at the time when I was looking at it. It's probably bigger now. Be like, okay, that's substantially bigger than the city quote unquote city for the state I'm in or neck come on give me a route <clears throat> maybe this will maybe this will tell me um do I de no I don't see a road sign maybe back here can I get I cannot all right fine we're gonna head this way keep going until I maybe see a route sign but I'm gonna put us maybe on this chunk of land over here <clears throat> Excuse me. Quick look. Is there anything else here worth mentioning? 
there is a Maryland accent. I don't really know what it is. I mean, granted, everyone has an accent. I apparently do, but I don't notice it. Everyone else has an accent, not me. Um, but you can look that stuff up. I think, actually, no. Um, there was a video that came out a couple of months ago about some guys from Baltimore trying to say a sentence about earning iron urns. I believe they were from Baltimore. It's pretty funny. Um, I think that's a basically, a, I think, a pretty good indication as to what the Baltimore accent is. But it's just, a, they just emphasize words silly, like, not, not like us, where I'm from. Not a goddamn root sign anywhere. I don't under, compared to um, the other states I've done, like, the past two, I'd say at least. I gotta give Maryland some pretty bad grades as far as demarcating the roads. Oh, I don't know. I'll just show this sign off in case you have not seen it. I'm sure other countries have this as well, but, you know, we're about deer crossing the road. They don't give a shit. If you want a scary video, just watch anybody on a motorcycle talking about, well, why am I going backwards? Ooh, wait a minute. Did that say junction? Maryland Junction of 298. Well, shit. Let's see. Is this going to tell me we're on 291? I'm not going to find this in time. Two third, 258. I don't see a 291 anywhere. <clears throat> 249. Um, 10 seconds left. 291. Are we up here? 291. Uh, what were we? Oh, we we're over there. Next to uh, Duck Neck Camp Run. I thought that said Dud Neck. Well, actually, not as bad a score as I thought I was going to get. I did really bad over here, but ballpark did okay. Well, that's going to do it for your Monday and our tour around Maryland. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you had any fascinating insights being like, oh, this is what Maryland's like, crazy. I'm glad I was able to show it to you. But again, just a heads up. Format as far as recording will change starting next week. We're going to do all three at once. At least for a while, see how that goes. Um... But thank you all again for watching. If you had any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, suggestions, or maps, themes, games, ideas, thoughts, anything at all, go ahead and put it in the comments below. I will read them and get back to you. Week is starting. Go ahead and uh, do your best this week. I'll be here to touch base with you again on Wednesday to see how you're doing. But thank you all for watching. Have a good one.